according to stanza number three of Mita Sutta, Naja Kota Majere Genji, Yena Winyupare Upa Wadeo, Suki no wa kemi no hondu sabba sadda bondu suki dada. Page 53, stanza number 3. So according to this meta radiation, uh, we uh, develop meta in ordinary way. Suki no wa kemi no hondu sabba sadda suki dada. May all beings be happy and safe. May they have a happy heart, ordinary way of Mitta Bhavana. Then Buddha uh, continue how to develop Mitta. Ye keji pana Buddha ti tasa wa ta wara wa nawa sisa. Tiga wa ye wa mahanta mechima rasaka nukatula. Deita wa ye wa adeita ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure. Buddha wa sambawe si wa sabba sadda pavondu sukhi tatta sukhi tatta so era sukhi sukhi ta is wrong sukhi tatta s u s u k h i pavondu data wa ye wa data ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure Buddha wa sambuwe si wa sabba sadda pavon tu sukhi dadda to recite stanza number four. Eji panna Buddha ti follow my recitation and after that we recite together. Yeke ji panna Buddha ti ji panna Buddha ti dasa wa tawara wa nawa sesa dasa wa tarawara wa nasa wa sesa Tiga wa ye wa mahanta. Tiga wa ye wa mahanta. Majima rasaka nuka tula. Majima rasaka anuda tula. Deita wa ye wa adeita. Deita wa ye wa adeita. Ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure. Ye wa dure wa santi awi dure. Buddha wa sambawe si wa. Buddha wa sambawe si wa. Sabha sadda bawandu suki tata. Sabha sadda bawandu suki tata. Okay. Ye ke ji pana Buddha ti. Ye ke ji pana Buddha ti. Tasa wa tawara wa nawa sisa. Tasa wa tawara wa na wa sesa. Tiga wa ye wa mahanta. Tiga wa ye wa mahanta. Majima rasaka nuka tula. Majima rasaka anuka tula. Deita wa ye wa adeita. Deita wa ye wa adeita. Ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure. Ye wa dure wa santi awi dure. Buddha wa sambawe si wa. Buddha wa sambawe si wa. Sabha sadda bawandu suki tata. Sabha sadda bawandu suki tata. We have to recite together. Ye ke ji pana Buddha ti. Dasa wa tawara wa nawa sesa. Tiga wa ye wa mahanta. Majima rasaka anuka tula. Deta wa ye wa adeta. Ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure. Buddha wa samba we siwa Samba sata bawondu suki tata Ye ke ji pana Buddha ti Dasa wa tawara wa nawa sesa Tiga wa ye wa mahanta Majima rasaka anukatula. 
data wa ye wa adeta ye wa dure wa sandi a we dure buddha wa samba we si wa saba sata bawon du suki tata ye ke ji pa na buddha ti Tessawa tawara wa na wa se sa Tika wa ye wa mahanta Majimara seka anu katula Deta wa ye wa adeta Ye wa dure wa sandi awi dure Buddha wa samba we siwa Sabha sata bawon du suki tata Translation, follow my recitation. Whatsoever living beings there be Whatsoever living beings there be Feeble or strong Feeble or strong Long or big Long or big, or medium or short, or medium or short, small or fat, small or fat, seen or unseen, seen or unseen, those dwelling far or near, those dwelling far or near, those who had been born and those who are yet to be born, those who have been born and those who are yet to be born, may all beings. May all beings, without exception, be happy. Without exception, be happy. So today we have to explain Tassa uh, Wa and Tawarawa. The Tassa Tassa beings mean feeble beings. Tawara means strong. So we have to explain feeble beings and strong beings. Tassa and Tawarawa. <coughs> So the first individual is Tassa. So Tassa, that individual, uh, that beings are trembling and shaking with fear. Why they are trembling, why they are shaking with fear? Because they have anger, they have human passion, lust, and desirable attachment, Tanna. So Dosa and Loba, they have so they are trembling and they are shaking. Those who are prone to fright are living beings who are not yet free from anger. They are not yet free from hatred. So what kinds of individuals? They are Putojana, Sotapana, and Sagradagami, who are trembling, who are shaking. Putojana, ordinary warlings. Sotapanas, shaking, stay shaking. Stay trembling. Sakadagami is area, but stay trembling and shaking because <coughs> he is not yet free from anger and hatred. And those beings who get frightfully affected by passionate desire are common warlings, Putujana, and also Sotapanas, stay here, Tana. Sagradagami, stay here, Tanna, craving. Anagami, stay here, Tanna. So these individuals are trembling and shaking with fear. How they are seized with fear? Because they have passionate desire, Tanna, and they are something similar to beings who are anxious for not getting, uh, not, not getting, or for not receiving which they crave for, and for not getting which they wish to obtain. And arahants, arahants are uh, totally free from dana, so their minds. Their minds are tranquil, their minds are unperturbed and steadfast without a feeling of fright. 
because they are noble arahants. So here, Dasa and Tawara, two categories. Dasa means those individuals who are prone to fear. They are not yet liberated from passionate and desirable attachment. Sotapana, Putojana, Sotapana, Sagadagami, and Nagami. And Tawara, uh, Arahans, they have absolutely no fear and they are not uh, apprehensive with serenity and st- stability of mind. They are Tawara individual. So we have to explain more. The Sotapana, Sagadagami, Anagami, and Arahan for individuals. Sotapana, Srim, Antara, Sagadagami, once returner, Anagami, no returner, and the Arahan. Sotapana. So, what mental defilements he eradicate? He abandon wrong view and doubt, deity, and Wijikeja. So having, a, having developed the path of string entry by abandoning wrong views and doubts, yogi becomes a string enterer. He becomes sotapanna. That is one who has escaped from rebirth in woeful states and will be reborn at most uh, uh, seven more times. So a Sotapanna is a yogi who has eradicated rebirth in woeful states and who, who will be reborn at, uh, at most seven more times. A yogi who has reached the first stage of enlightenment is called a Sotapanna. Sota in Bali, that means a stream. Apanna means one who first reached. So it is the yogi who first reach the streams of nobility. Mega is called a stream here because once a yogi gets that mega, he is sure to reach nirvana, just as when one gets into a real stream, one is sure to reach the ocean. A yogi who has first reached Mega is sure to reach Nirvana, so he is called Sotapanna, Stream Enterer or Stream Entrant. A Stream Enterer has cut off the rudest of the three fetas. So what is fetas? Fetas in Sanyojana in Bali, fetas or ropes. They are called fetters or ropes because they bind us to these rounds of rebirth. We not let us go. We are not free because a lot of ropes tie up. So there are ten fetters. Among the ten fetters, a sotapanna cuts deity, personality view. He eradicates doubt. Skeptical doubt, Vijikecha, and Sila Brahmasa. He eradicates adherence to rites and rituals. People having uh, Sila Brahmasa, uh, rites and ritual, uh, believe that taking the vow, vows of acting like a cow or a dog and so on to be the real path to emancipation, that is Silabra Pramasa, Sotapanna uh, cuts. Personality view and adherence to rules and rituals, these two belong to wrong view. So in reality, there are three factors, but two unwholesome jitasika, two unwholesome mental states, deity and wichikecha skeptical doubt and wrong view. So as Sotapanna cuts off uh, doubt and wrong view, 
when he gets the path consciousness. When a yogi reaches enlightenment, the path consciousness arises in him. Uh, that path consciousness takes Nibbana as object. With it, a yogi is able to eradicate some of the mental defilements. Sotapanna has unshakable confidence in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. He is very firm in his faith in his confidence in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. One cannot shake his person faith. One cannot frighten him. One cannot bribe Sotapanna. And one cannot deceive Sotapanna. One cannot frighten Sotapanna, one cannot threaten Sotapanna, because Sotapanna is very firm in his faith in the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, and practice. Once there was a woman, was a Sotapanna. She was the wife of a Brahmin. Her husband, the Brahmin, was not a follower of the Buddha. So both of them invited their own religious teachers to their house and offered food. The husband, the Brahmin, invited uh, his Brahmin teachers to his house for food, and the wife, the woman, helped him prepare and offered whatever help was needed when serving uh, his Brahmin teachers. And when it, it was the wife done, she invited Buddha and offered food to the Buddha. The husband just went away. The husband, the Brahmin, did not want to see the Buddha. One day, the husband, the Brahmin, invited his Brahmin teacher to his house. He told his wife, he had invited his Brahmin teacher to the house. Uh, the wife asked, What do you want me to do? The Brahmin said, I don't want you to do anything. Just don't utter the name of your teacher Buddha. Whenever you slip or you drop something or you fall, you should shut up. So the woman was in the habit of saying Namo Bodhasa or Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sambodasa whenever she slept or something happened. Then the wife said, I cannot promise that. I cannot avoid saying the name of my teacher Buddha. She said, I cannot promise that I cannot avoid saying the name of my teacher Buddha. The wife say, then the Brahmin said, Woman, even the gate of a village where a hundred families live can be closed. Surely you can close your mouth. What is just two finger breadth in size, you should shut up? The husband said, she said, No, I cannot do that. Then the Brahmin took his sword and threatened her. Woman, see this sword. I will cut you to pieces if you say so much as a word about your teacher Buddha. The wife replied, You may cut me, you may kill me, you may do whatever you like to me, but I cannot stop from uttering the name of my teacher Buddha. She said, Next day, when food was served to the Brahmins, she helped her husband serve food to the Brahmins. At that time, she had a pain in her leg. So she said, Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. So she had a pain in her leg. So she said, Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. When the Brahmin teacher heard this, they were very angry. So they abused and scolded the Brahmin and then went away. The Brahmin was very angry. He told his wife, Now I will go to the Buddha and ask a question. He 
he will not be able to answer this way or that. This way I will defeat him. So the Brahmin went to the Buddha and asked him, What kinds of killing is good? He asked. So the Brahmin asked, Buddha, killing what is good? And Buddha said, Killing anger is good. Buddha replied, so the Brahman was so pleased by that answer, and then he became a disciple of the Buddha. Later he became a monk and became an arahant. So no one can threaten a sotapanna even though it is with the threat of the loss of his life. Not to have faith in the Buddha, not to have faith in the Dharma, and not to have faith in the Sangha and practice. A Sotapanna is very firm in his confidence. He has unshakable confidence in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. A Sotapanna is free fr from prospect of rebirth in any of the woeful realms. A Sotapanna will not be reborn in the four woeful states. A Sotapanna will not be reborn in any of the four woeful states because he will not do anything that will cause him to be reborn there. That we must understand clearly. It is not that a Sotapanna can kill a living being and then he will not be reborn in the four woeful states as a result of such a deed. Actually, a Sotapanna is not reborn in the four woeful states because he will not do or he is incapable of doing any unwholesome deeds that will lead him to rebirth in the four woeful states. There are 14 unwholesome mental states, and Sotapanna has eliminated deity and wichikecha, skeptical doubt and wrong view. And according to the commentaries, Sotapanna eliminates Envy and uh, avarice, Isa and Michiriya. So, so, so Sotapanna has freed himself as well from all degrees of mental defilements, strong enough to uh, lead uh, rebirth in the four woeful states. So Sotapanna only eradicates Deity and Vijikecha, uh, uh, wrong view as skeptical doubt. Sotapanna's stay has loba, dosa, moha, uh, odicha, and others. He stay have desire, anger, conceit, delusion, restlessness, and others. But he has freed himself from all degrees of um, mental defilements strong enough rebirth in the four woeful states. So the loba of Sotapanna and the dosa moha of Sotapanna are very weak, so they cannot lead him to rebirth in four woeful states. Sotapanna still have loba, he still have dosa, he still have moha, but his desire, anger, and delusions are very weak. They are not strong enough to send him to four woefuls. Although a Sotapanna eradicates wrong views and doubt, actually he eradicates desire, anger, and delusion to some degree. He makes them weak so that they cannot lead to rebirth in the four woeful states. So the conduct of Sotapanna is marked by scrupulous observance of the five precepts. It is said in the commentary that a Sotapanna never breaks any of the five precepts. Uh, even in the next existence, a Sotapanna will not break any of these five rules. Even if he does not know that he is a Sotapanna, still he will not break any of these five precepts. So we have to understand that a Sotapanna and the other Noble person do not break any of the five precepts. If a person claims to be a Sotapanna, 
you can watch him and see if he is still capable of breaking these five moral precepts. So he declared that he is Sotapanna, but if he is drinking or a uh, case and insect or whatever, then we can understand that he is not a Sotapanna, real Sotapanna. It is very difficult to know if a person is a Sotapanna or not. Only uh, the Buddha, Arahants, and higher noble person can know uh, the person is Sotapanna or not. But we can watch and we can infer from his observing or not observing of these five precepts. So there are three types of Sotapanna. The first one is called Satta Katu Parama. Uh, Satta is seven, Katu is eight times, Satta Katu. So that means one who will be reborn seven times at most in the human world and celestial worlds. It is the first kind of Sotapanna. The second one is Kolang Kola. So that is the one who takes rebirth in good family two or three times before attaining arhanship. For him, there, there may be two or three or four or five or six rebirths. So such a person is called Kolang Kola. Kola means family. So going from one family to another, here family really means being reborn in the human life or in the life of a celestial being. Whenever he is reborn, he is reborn in good families. He will not be reborn in poor family. He will not be reborn in bad families. This is second, second type of sotapanna. The third one is called Eka Biji. Eka means one, Bija, or Bija means seat. Eka Biji, one seat. That means uh, one who will be reborn only once more before attaining the goal. So such an individual is reborn just once more before becoming an Arahant. So there are three types of of Sotapanna. So in this uh, Mitta uh, Sutta, Yekeji Panna Buddha Ti Tasa Wa Tawara Wa. So we need to understand Tasa and Tawara. So what are Tasa beings? Tasa beings are Walins or Sotapanna, Sektagami. Nagami and Arah, Sagdagami and Nagami, who are subjected to fear. And Tawara means uh, who are free from fear. So the Sa and Tawara should be kept distant and separated in developing Mitta by reciting according to Mitta Sutta. It should be also combined together with Vipassana when we radiate metta. So, metta chanting paper. May warlings who are subjected to fear, arahans who are free from fear, may all these beings be happy in body and mind. So please follow my uh, metta bhavana. May, may all warlings may all warlings who are subjected to fear who are subjected to fear. Arahants, Arahants, who are free from fear. Who are free from fear. May all these beings, may all these beings, be happy in body and mind. Be happy in body and mind. May all worldlings, may all worldlings, who are subjected to fear, who are subjected to fear. Arahants, Arahans, who are free from fear, who are free from fear, may all these beings, may all these beings be happy in body and mind. Be happy in body and mind. Two categories, Tassa and Tawara, explain other individuals tomorrow. We have to end our discourse for today by practicing Satipatthana Vipassana meditation. 
by developing metta bhavana, by observing every phenomena occurring at the six and doors continuously and meticulously, may all practitioners realize the real peace in the very near future.